Hello there and welcome. So this video is going to show you how to set up your brand new Fluval FX4. So you should have something very similar to this, all your parts and equipment out of the box. The first thing I suggest you do if you haven't already done it is remove all of your filter media from the inside of the filter. The reason you want to do this is because not all of it has been unpacked. So if you look inside of your filter, you will actually see that you need to do a little bit of unpackaging. There should be two bags of this media. There should be some bags for any additional filter media you want to put in there, such as carbon, phosphate removers, etc. Below is some fine filtration. That is good, you can leave that there. Also, if you have got an old filter which you are replacing with the FX4, then it would be a good idea to include some of that media into here where possible. There is quite a lot of space, so I'm sure you'll find room. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and put your media back inside the canister. So the next thing you want to do is work out where you're going to be putting your filter. Now this filter needs to be fairly close to the aquarium and at least 20 centimetres below the top of the water. When you've done that, you need to measure your pipe work. Now this is four metres in length, but it does require cutting to your needs. So make sure you measure it very, very precisely and make sure you measure it a couple of times to avoid any mistakes. Once you've got your filter in the position you want it, before you put the lid on, fill it up with at least six litres of water. This will allow the pump to prime itself. Once you've done that, put the lid on. When doing up the lid screws, do them alternate to each other. So rather than going round in a circle and tighten them one by one, tighten that one, then tighten that one, then tighten that one, and that one, and so on, so that they seal evenly around the filter lid. Also, make sure not to over tighten the lid, because this can cause it to bend and the seal to be broken. Just pass finger tight is enough. Once tightened, you can then add your aquastop valves. These can be quite stiff to begin with, but just give them a good push. And they will click into fit. The next thing to do will be to connect your hosing. Now, when measuring the hosing, it needs to be a straight line from there to your point. You don't want it to be overly long so that you get loops in your pipe work like that. When fitting the pipes, use the metal hose clips provided. These will stop the hosing from popping off accidentally. The next thing to do is attach your pipe ends to the appropriate pipe. Obviously this is the out and this is the in. The tank rim connectors for holding your pipe work are optional. I won't be using them, however they are great for holding your pipe in place. To do that, you simply take off these clips, slot your pipe work into it, put the clips back on, and then that goes over the edge of the tank. So now you've installed all of your pipe work, you've installed your filter and added any filter media you've needed to do, you've filled it up with six liters or more of water, and you've closed the lid. All that's left to do now is plug it in. So the filter will now go into auto prime. This is where it will fill itself up with water and purge any air that builds up in the system. During this period the filter may make a lot of noise and it will also turn on and off as it purges air from its system. As you can see that's what you're to expect but don't worry. Trust in Fluval smart pump technology will prime itself perfectly. Point to add, from the moment you turn it on, it will now do 12 hour cycles of turning itself off and on again. Bear in mind that this may be a noisy process, so make sure you time the 12 hour period to correlate with times that you don't want loads of noise like this happening. Especially if it's in your bedroom. So thank you for watching, I hope this has been helpful and happy fish keeping.